Welcome back to part 2 of our Airtable CRM series. Today we are unlocking the secret of effortless replies by merging Airtable and ChatGPT. Say goodbye to manual responses and hello to convenience. So, ready? Let's dive in and automate your inbox. Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated and in the part 1 I have shown you how you can get the inbound emails into your into your CRM and we left exactly in this reply view where I was about to show you how you are going to use this in combination with ChatGPT for replies to the emails that are coming in. So you can look at this this way, that basically these are emails that are whatever is on the top, these are the newest email, I'll just delete those because this was, this was what I was testing on. And you could either review the emails over here, sort of like individually and select what should be the reply, or you can use this part over here and view it as the record so it will open you this record with all the information about this incoming email so you can see like okay so this was from robert sent to to me and so on and this, these are mock emails so the name doesn't add up with whoever sent this so ignore ignore that and you can see that like this was the email you have the link to the email and here what you could do is like okay so I have read the email, how should I reply? I should reply with this template. You have selected the reply. Now we can move to another email, say like, okay, this is from Emily. We would reply to Emily like, oh, this is interesting. Let's investigate more. Then let's go to the next one. What is this email? Okay, great, no, I'm not interested. Let's see the next email. And this way you can kind of go through multiple emails in a like a faster way or you can maybe you know that the other option is you can also make extra tall uh, windows over here have broader view and have more information over here and basically just you know even you have simple like too small too small and so on so you could do it this way but let's come back to the previous view okay so now you have selected topic what topic are we talking about? So one more thing here inside of the email topics inside of this table, we have generated a couple of specific uh, email topics. So actually, if you don't select the topic, you, you also have the second topic, which are called emails. And this is only the view that filters out the replies because we're limiting the reply topics, email topics only to the reply view over here. So that's why what shows up are none of the cold emails, which we will go through at the later stages. These are only those those replies over here. So as you will see, you can also add another reply out of scope. That's it. And here, as you can see, what will pre-fill automatically is things that we will be using for OpenAI for ChatGPT is the maximum number of tokens that you're using for a reply and this is the average that you can go with later you can you know you can play around if you lower this you will get a shorter reply if it's too little the reply might get cut off usually 2000 2000 works and the temperature so 02 is quite conservative you could uh, move it up to 07 or even 1 so every time you would have a different reply okay but before we go there, let's see how does this thing converts into reply. So here we would like to have a generate reply. How come this will create a reply that will use OpenAI over here? So if we say generate reply, what is happening behind the scenes? You can see that the reply is coming in and that also the, the button has changed to a review email telling us that we should review this, this email. And as you can see, it requires some reviews over, over there because sometimes it's adding also the subject to the email, which is not necessary. Uh, but as you will see, we say budget too small. In this case, uh, we would like to topic of discussion. You can see it's actually missing a couple of things and, and so on. So you always need to review that email, whatever it replies over here. The same thing with, uh, with this email. So it's having a couple of unnecessary information over here that you should review and then based on that you can send it out now let's see how this is actually happening so there are two elements connected to that so one of them is automation 
whenever this changes to generate an email let's select out of scope and let's see if that will be correct whenever we click generate reply we have an automation here which is called trigger for email replies and this trigger works obviously on the interaction table and it will start working whenever the status is generate reply what we had and whenever there is a topic for the reply. So if there's no topic, this will not trigger. And then the next step is a simple webhook. And this is the webhook which we are using to trigger URL with webhook from Integromat. So it's a very simple code. The only thing it does, it basically sends a request to the URL with the record ID. And now let's see what's happening with this URL. So we're using for processing of and connecting to OpenAI, we're using make.com, which allows you to connect with multiple pieces of software. And it's uh, so much more nicer to work with than, than Zapier. And we are starting this scenario that that uh, that you can see over here. Uh, by the way, you can also download the ready-made blueprint for this uh, scenario if you don't want to do it yourself and you can import it here and so on. Uh, so how this one works is that once you're looking at this first module, so here you will have to add a webhook. So that would be the URL that you would use inside of the automation over here to to trigger this scenario. So whenever you would have this scenario working, then you would send over here a record ID. So that first step will receive that record ID. And then here we're having a simple check. If it exists, we continue just in case not to fire an um, empty webhook without any data. And then the next step is a get record when we're getting the details of the interaction. So this way we are getting all the information about this particular record and everything that was in that row. The next step, we are getting back the details of the topic that we have selected for the email. So we can see that these are notes, like what should this reply be about? And then we also seeing uh, like the number of tokens and the temperature and so on. And now we are having two routes. So first is fresh email and the second one is edit email. Uh, because there is also a feature here which is edit email and then I'll explain this in a second. So first what we do if there is no comments in edit it goes through this route. If there would be a comment if there would be comments for the edit it would go at the bottom route. Here we are using OpenAI ChatGPT. If you have access to ChatGPT4 I highly recommend to switch over to 4 it will be very easy you just change it over to to this model and as you can see we are having some of the preforming here so first of all we are informing the model that it's an email writing assistant which replies to business emails so this will also help to give a certain style to the emails that will be a little bit more formal the next is the input from the user so there will be a couple of inputs from the users and we say create a reply to the following email and we are getting that email that came in as an inbound email from our table and we're cutting it down just to give a little bit uh, context to uh, to the model but we are not putting the whole email because the whole email can have like the reply section and so on so that's why we are trimming it down only to thousand characters it can be more like you would have to play with that see how it works but this should be good enough to give a little bit of a context over there and then the reply should be as follow and this is this is using the notes so here it would say the reply should be as follow unfortunately this is not our scope here we are also telling the chat gpt that they should sign email as and you could put your signature here so it's using your signature and then finally we say use markdown to format email Markdown is a type of text formatting that you can be using with uh, with Airtable. It just helps a little bit with the styling. And we're having here a couple of uh, parameters that are coming from the specific reply. So maximum number of tokens. If it does not exist, we'll just ignore it. And the same thing with the temperature. So that's all the settings. We're not playing with the other ones. Those two are sufficient. And that's it. So that is everything. And then once we get the reply, 
we open the final module here we are updating the first module that we had so get interaction so this is the interaction that we are updating so we're using the record id and here the only thing that we're doing we are important we're changing the status from the status that was generate reply to generate email so that we know that as to re to review email so now that we know that we can review that email and then from the reply there's a couple of choices here depending on type of model and so on but inside of the chat completion and the gpt3 and 4 mod mod models you would be using this message and this reply over here okay so this is the reply body that we will we will have sometimes you could maybe say here like do not include subject and so on uh, sometimes it replies without the subject sometimes it uh, replies with subject depends on what it wants okay so now you see sometimes it's also providing replies like this that it's claiming that it cannot format email as a markdown obviously it can okay so now it can reply to the email uh, <laughs> but it's also giving us a lesson that it's not a suitable business reply um, as a business uh, writing assistant i would suggest the following reply. fantastic so this is a better reply and you can see that this is exactly the reply that we had uh, for inviting us company we appreciate the opportunity unfortunately it's not within our scope at this moment great so you know pretty much nothing to nothing to to change and you know it also gives us a little bit preaching and so on the, the chat gpt models like to add a little bit more preaching so you have to kind of delete this a little bit and so on but for example what if we would like to manually edit those or not manual like when we would like to use chat gpt to kind of change the reply so here you can see that okay whatever this email the intention was like yes we're interested to investigate more and it's giving us the name of the services saying like i'm writing to inquire about the services that your company provide that's not exactly the message what we want is so we're just making a clarification that we're not interested in services of that company but we want to offer our services and we're interested in the project and we want to learn more okay so here what we would do we would press again generate generate reply and as you will see now because we have added the text this will follow this route over here so it will take the same prompts as we had so says to the system we are a business writing assistant then it create reply to the following email so it knows what was the following email that was that was sent to us we also say okay the reply should be as follow everything is the same now we're actually providing back to the model the reply that it has sent to us so this is the reply that it generated to us and so like okay you gave us this reply and now we would like you to do this with it and so on so this is the update from us how it should be edited the rest everything works the same as in the first module so the tokens and so on maybe you know maybe you could make it a little bit longer if all of a sudden this conversation gets quite long and then at the end similarly we update Airtable by adding the id and here we are changing the status to review email and the same way we are using the um, uh, reply from the mo model here so we have choices inside of choices you will have message and then you will have that content over there and then finally uh, reply added comment here you have empty string and the empty string you can find here in the text operators empty string this way it will delete the edit comment and we can write another comment and so on so let's go back over here save changes fine and now let's press again generate reply and you can see that the webhook has started and it uh, starts working with OpenAI and usually it takes a while it takes a couple of seconds and now we have gotten back the reply and you can see that the status changed to review email and then here like okay we come across your project and the name the placeholder here it says your company and title 
this is because this particular person doesn't have an email and title set and inside of our prompting here actually we're not adding them we're actually not adding the title of the person but we could so we could also say that uh, we could test it and we could add the title of the person so we can add something like this let's see if that will work all right so then email has been um, updated and okay so it looks like we don't have those placeholders anymore so that's good and we would love to learn more about your project and how can we contribute to your success our company specializes ta, ta, ta. Uh, we could also add a little bit more context so that it knows exactly what uh, services our company specializes and so on but yeah that looks good and what we could do in this case when we're happy with the emails we could set a specific date so we would say okay either reply now immediately or reply next uh, business day and, and so on and if that's everything then we would set to schedule that email and then there is another automation and this would make the, those email disappear from the list over here schedule and then there is another automation that actually copies those emails to be sent to the very bottom of our interaction list so actually you will see this here in the scheduled scheduled emails it will place those emails on the scheduled emails to be sent and in the next video i'll tell you how this is being sent but in the meantime i'll just explain you how that scheduling part is happening is that the final automation for this video is whenever we set the status to schedule and the sending date is not empty so whenever this is happening then inside of the interactions we create a new record we create a scheduled email and that scheduled email basically here contains like okay who is the contact so the contact is the the contact over here so this is just kind of copy paste the sending date so the sending date here we have to select dynamic and if it's dynamic we select sending date which we have selected and that's the same date that we will use later for trigger for sending the emails and then subject here we are just using um, reply and uh, repeating the subject and then here as the notes so sort of we're following the same same formats with other emails because later once we'll change this to send we'll just change the status and we will know that this was sent so we are copy pasting that uh, reply body back into the notes and once that's done we change the original interaction id from which it came from we change back that record to status email scheduled if we change this to email scheduled it also removes it from our reply view because here we are filtering it out emails on the inbound and emails that have no reply or don't have any ignore because we can also say that for some emails not not gonna reply let's remove it this from from here so this is for all people that are looking at getting to inbox zero okay so that's how you're gonna and uh, that's how you would be replying and editing the emails using chat gpt and openai and in the next video i will show you how to send cold emails and how to uh, how those emails are being sent out okay so that's everything for this video you can find the link to the other videos in the description of this link you can also find a link to gumroad uh, where you can download pre-made blueprints so that you can kind of start automating this this faster and so on that's everything thank you guys let me know how you liked it and subscribe to learn more about business automation have a great day bye